Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Code LLM, and I am going to show you a few more cool things you can do with this Agentic AI Code Editor. That's right everyone, Code LLM now has Agentic capabilities. It can handle large Agentic tasks. And not only that, you have access to all of the state-of-the-art large language models, including the just-released O3 Mini High. It's in here. I'm going to show it to you. Let's go. All right, so to get working or get cooking with Code LLM, it's a piece of cake. You want to go to Abacus's website, abacus.ai. Link is in the description below. Up at the top here, you're going to see Chat LLM and Code LLM. They come bundled together. Click on Code LLM like I've done here, and then look at this here. It says Code LLM AI Code Editor and Assistant. Good so far. But check this out, it comes with Chat LLM as well. I've done at least 30 videos on Chat LLM. It's an unbelievable product. Well, Code LLM comes with it. And for those of you that are cost conscious, it's $10 per user per month. I mention that because Chat GPT alone is $20 a month. So for less than half the price, you get Chat LLM, Code LLM, everything you can imagine. Let's go ahead here, click on Get Started. When you do that here, you're going to see here that it's loading me into Chat LLM. And then on the left side, here's where I like to go here. You can download it up here if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and click on Code LLM in the tool section. Now you can see here when I do that, it says download for Mac, Linux, or Windows. Now I have a Mac and more particularly, I have the Apple Silicon because I have the app Apple Mac. I think it's the M1 version. So I've got Silicon here, Apple Silicon. So I would go ahead and click on this right there and it will download it for me as you can see here. If you've got a Windows or a Linux machine, depending on your specs, go ahead and download the correct one. Once you've done that, now let's go into the code LLM and now let's get cooking. All right, once you're logged in, you should see a screen that looks like this. I'm on the Mac version, but again, they've got versions for everything here. The first thing I like to do is I'm gonna grab this side here and I'm just gonna pull it out so it's nice and big. So we're gonna be looking here primarily at these two sections, chat and agent. Let's start with chat. Now you'll see here that I've had a few different chats with the uh, code LLM in the past here and you can always go and click on them to see what you talked about, see the code, etc. But look at this here, on the under chat, you'll see that we can go ahead and click on this little button here, or this drop down, and we now have access to all of these incredible large language models, including the just released and the big time good version, O3 Mini High. I don't think that's the professional way to say it. It's the goodest version, <laughs> O3 Mini High. It's the best one, it just came out. So I'm gonna select that here. So now that I got O3 Mini High selected, you'll see here, I'm just gonna click on this little plus button over at the top right here. That basically just makes a new chat. And now it's very cool here because it actually gives you four really good examples or ideas on how to use chat here. So this one here says, explain this code to me. So here I am, I'm now in one of my previous pieces of code and you can just copy and paste in anything that you want or if you're working on a file, load it up like I've done here. This is a Python file and here we go, explain this code to me. So it's kind of tricky and uh, here we go. So let's just click on that button. This is an example, watch this. It's gonna go ahead, it's gonna look at this here and you'll see here if we go through it here, it measures API response time and validates against performance requirements. So it's pretty cool, pretty tricky code. I'm gonna come back when it's done. It takes a few seconds to cook and then I'll show you what we got. And then I'll show you a few other really cool examples. Never mind, it's already done. So here we go. This code is designed to measure how quickly an API endpoint responds and then check if the response time is within an acceptable threshold. That is exactly what this code is. It gives me a detailed breakdown, step-by-step -step in numbered list, amazing stuff here. It even gives you a new snippet with inline comments explaining each step. Like this is, this is wild guys. Like this is a proper AI code editor. That's all I'm gonna say about that here. Of course, you can go through that as you see fit. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna click the plus button again. And then now I'm gonna say, hey, Let's refactor this code to be a little more efficient. Now, I'm not the best coder in the world, and in fact, I don't even think I coded this. This was coded by somebody else, but here we go. Let's refactor it and see what this does. All right, so we've had it explain to us what the code is, and now we had it refactor it. And again, we're using the chat here with O3 Mini High. Now, it gives you the exact things that it did here, so you can read through this if you are so inclined. But at the bottom, this is my favorite part, it tells you the exact 
changes it made. It removed the erroneous PIP install request uh, import request line. It added an import for time and logging to support precise timing. I mean, introduce an optional timeout parameter. I mean, amazing stuff here, guys. And this is all being done with a simple chat and a simple prompt. It's that simple. Let's take a look at agents now. There's a lot more to show you. All right, the next thing I want to show you is the agent section. It's very, very cool. It's easy to use. You'll see here that instead of under chat, I've clicked on agent. And then to make sure you're starting from scratch, just click on the plus button like I've done here. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and use the agent. Now, on the left side here, you'll see here that I've got a basic website. This is a simple blog structure. Very, very simple. I'm just going to copy it. So I've got the entire set of code here. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to paste this in here at the bottom. And then underneath it, I'm going to ask the agent to make some changes for me. So I don't have to go in and do it myself. I'll let the agent do it. So I'm going to be make the, the text color bright blue. Make the background color bright pink. Background, yeah, let's do background color bright pink. Okay, something like that. And there we go. I copied and pasted in the code. And then here we go. I've asked it to go ahead and make those changes for me. It takes a few seconds. In fact, it might already be done here. Actually, I'm going to come back when it's done. I'll show you what we got, and then we'll wrap it all up. All right, welcome back. So here it is. It's gone ahead and done it for us. So here is the first option here. You'll see here that it created the code body, and then it's got color, and then it's got background color, which is exactly what we want. And of course, we could just go ahead and copy and paste that in or insert it if we were so inclined. Also, it says here to implement these changes, create a file named styles.css in the same directory as your HTML. That's correct. Copy the code above into that file. Yep. And then there we go. The charges will take effect because your HTML file already has the style sheet linked. Okay, so there we go, guys. This is all there is to it. So they've got chat. You could chat with the large language models. They have an AI agent functionality in here. What can I say? Abacus AI is shipping something every single week. They don't stop. O3 Mini's in here. It's all in here, guys. It's worth a look. Give it a shot. Thanks for watching.